Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get this soft kinky curly texture on Marley hair and I'll include the hair that I used in the down bar. Um, so keep watching. So on the left I've already started working uh, and you can see the texture. So I'm going to start brushing the hair that I'm going to be working with with a soft boar bristle brush. Uh, I don't want to use a hard brush because I find that it pulls out too much hair. So this one does just fine for me. So I'm just going to brush that through. And then I'm going to take a piece of Marley strand in a different color just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put it under the hair. And I'm going to wrap it around and kind of just spin it around the the hair before I kind of hold it and pin it down to the hair that I'm going to be wrapping. So now you can see I am starting to wrap the hair around a few times just to keep it uh, secure. And once I feel like it's secure, I'm going to start wrapping it downward. I'm going to keep the spacing large um, to get the curl pattern that I want. If you wrap it too closely together, um, it's, it's going to end up more of a crimp than a curl. So you want to keep the spacing similar to what I'm doing. And I'm just going to wrap that all the way down to the bottom. So now that I'm getting closer to the bottom of the hair, my spacing is going to get a little bit closer together and that will create a more natural looking end, um, similar to natural kinky curly hair. So I'm going to, I'm pretty much getting close to the bottom. You can see the little end. So I'm going to hold that securely, hold the strand and then push up while holding the strand tight. And I'm going to push it about halfway. And I'm just going to kind of even out the curl. Kind of pushing everything up and evening it out. So now the tricky part is tying a slip knot at the end. You want to do it as close to the bottom as possible. Um, almost overlapping the tip to kind of secure it. If you practice it a few times, you should be able to get it and it'll be smooth from there. So once you've got the slip knot, you just want to snip the end. And I'm going to just set it in hot water. And I think I hold it for about 10 seconds. So when I'm done setting my hair in the hot water, I'm going to use a towel to remove the water from the hair. I'm using a paper towel, but I usually use a regular towel. I just had a paper towel close by and I'm only doing one section, so it worked well for me. So once I do that, I can just pull the slip knot out or clip it if you um, if your slip knot is not, you know, coming out as easy, you can just snip it with a scissor. And then once you pull the hair, you'll see the strand just kind of come loose and you can unravel it. Um, I did mine a little bit far from the scalp by accident, but it came out just fine. Um, going forward, I definitely did it closer to the scalp. And then I'm going to separate the hair because I want to keep a lot of fullness because these are crochet braids, but I did not put a lot of hair because crochet braids can get really, really uh, thick and, you know, have a lot of hair if you do them, if you use a lot of hair, you know, when you're doing it. So I didn't use too much hair, but I do want to keep fullness. So separating it will help me keep that fullness. And you can see the texture there. 
at the end, I'll just kind of snip those little straggly hairs. And so you can see that the hair is really uh, a natural curly texture. And it has a little bit of frizz, but I like that. So I'm going to take a boar bristle brush. And I'm just going to brush by the roots, not to the tips. And that's also to get a little bit more of a fluffy full look. So this is what it looks like when I was all done. I basically just repeated that process I showed you all over my head. Um, you know, using the boar bristle brush to kind of brush at the roots and get it nice and full. And I love the results. Um, it's exactly what I was hoping to get. I've been looking for some synthetic hair to crochet braid with that had this texture, but I had not found it. So I just went ahead and created it on my own. And you can see that I'm still just separating the hair here, wherever I find hairs that need to be separated. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get just a good, you know, just as good results as I did. Um, it's really soft and has nice movement. Um, just really happy with the overall look. So, thanks for watching again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.